staple in many classrooms is a classroom newsletter. Whether you're printing it off your computer and sending it weekly home with your students, or you're creating one and emailing it to the parents. Well, I wanna show you a quick and easy way to create your classroom newsletter in Canva. Canva is a free program that teachers can use to create all sorts of resources. In fact, they have a Canva for Education account that you can create that's 100% free and includes all the pro content that you would find in Canva. So I'm going to show you how to create that newsletter. When you get to Canva in the top right hand corner, you are going to click the button that says create a design. We're going to go ahead and just type in newsletter and we're going to choose that newsletter template that comes up. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll see things like preschool newsletter, education newsletter, school newsletter, classroom newsletter. There's a lot of different options. I'm just going to go ahead and start with this first one. Now over here on the left hand side, there's a ton of different newsletter templates, but you can make it even more specific and just type in classroom. And you can choose some of these templates that they already have. Now I have a paid account. I use the pro account. So you're going to see these little crown that says pro and I can use all of those. But good news, as a Canva for Educator user, you should get all of these templates for free as part of your Canva for Education license. The difference between pro and the education is with the pro account, I can create content and create templates and sell them. With the education license, it's just for personal and classroom use. So you can take one of these templates and then you can change the colors however you want. Maybe you have some class colors that you like or you wanna go over here to styles and you wanna choose some color palettes that are already in the system inside of Canva. That works too. And you can even choose different fonts. Now I don't really like that font. I'm gonna go back to what it had in there. But you can choose whatever you want to use for your newsletter. Now this would be very basic. What if you had a classroom theme and you wanted to create one from scratch to go with your theme? Let's take a look on one way you could do that. So to start from scratch, I'm gonna go ahead and click this add a page button. And then something that I like to do is click on the elements on the left-hand side here where it says elements. And I like to scroll down to where it says grids. And I'm going to choose a grid formation that fits what I'm looking for. So I might want to have a header up at the top and other boxes for each day of the week. So I would need five boxes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, plus a top box for like the welcome or class newsletter header. I may also want another box for extra notes or maybe for birthdays, just however you want to personalize this newsletter. So I'm thinking I want probably about seven-ish boxes. So I'm going to come and find some frames and a layout that I like. This one is nice with a header and then the five sections and you can change the sizes of these frames, but I think I want even one more section. I think I want it to be more six so that I have a, a section for the notes or homework or whatever it is extra included I want on that newsletter. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this frame here that has a header and then my six boxes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it up here I want it to say classroom newsletter up at the top, and then I'm going to have one box for every day of the week and then my extra notes side. And I'm going to pull this down. I'm gonna keep going because I don't want a huge title there at the top for classroom newsletter. I want it a little bit thinner. I think we're almost there. Okay, perfect. Now what I can do is I can click on each box and I'm going to change them to be different colors. So I think I want pink up here and then I'm going to have each color be a different day. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whoops, Thursday we want orange. 
Friday we'll do pink and then this extra day we'll do teal again. And now I'm going to pick some cute fonts and some clip art and decorate the way that I want my newsletter to look. So I decided to go with a bold font and a nice script font for my newsletter. And I think I'm going to go with a candy or sweets type of theme. So maybe desserts, something like that. So our sweet classroom news, and I'm going to add some fun, different effects to these words to make them stand out. And I'm going to add some sweet treat clip art up here on my newsletter header. So how would I do that? Well, first let's start with our letter effects. So I'm going to highlight this box and I'm going to click on shadow. I think I wanna go with shadow, but I'm going to choose the color that I want and I can make it as transparent or non-transparent as I want. And I can make it offset more or less. And I can also choose the direction, but I think I like the direction that it's going. Or I could try splice, which is usually kind of fun too. It just kind of depends on the font. I think I like splice. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to do splice again, and maybe I choose a different color. Let's see what yellow looks like. Ooh, yellow is kind of cute. I always love pink. Pink's my favorite, but I am using a lot of pink. So I think we'll go with yellow or let's just try them all out. Nope. We're going to go with yellow. Okay. Now I want to find a cute clip art, some sweet treats to go up here to fill my newsletter header. Now I'm going to choose some cute elements to fill up this space in my newsletter header. So to do that on the left-hand side, I click on elements and I've decided to go with donuts. So you can search donuts and I like to just look at all the graphics and there's lots of different donuts you can use. This half eaten one, well, I guess not half eaten, but the one with bites in it, I think is pretty cute. And if I wanted, when I click on that, I get magic recommendations and I can click see all. And if there are more donuts I want to use, I can do that. Or I can even click on the three dots here and say, see more like this. Either way, I can see more donuts similar to the one that it's showing me. But I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make it so it's off the page a little bit and I might have to crop it. Let's see. I'm gonna make it fit here up in the corner and a cute little donut for our newsletter. Okay, so I am going to make sure my element is highlighted. I'm gonna click crop and I'm going to crop it on this white part. Well, I think I'm gonna go all the way to the pink line. Click done. Make sure I match it up there. I can zoom in a little bit. So I make it match the exact line that I want it to be just like that. Okay, so it's a cute little donut to go with our sweet classroom news. Now, I also want to add some effects to the Monday here. I think I'll do the same thing and do splice, maybe. Haven't decided if I want to do splice. Nope, it looks and blends too much in with the white. So we're just gonna do none. I think I'm just gonna keep it clean like that. Now I'm going to copy and, and then control V paste onto my next square. And I'm going to make one for each day of the week. Now that I have every single day filled in, I can either click on this box, this element that I created. And this is where you can type right into that box and you can choose whatever font you want to use because this is going to be something I send to parents. I want it to be something easy to read. I don't want it to clash with everything. I like to go with pop-ins. There are lots of different fonts in Canva and you can type right on that box or I actually usually prefer just to add a text box because then I can put it wherever I want and edit it as needed. And I'm still gonna go back and choose that pop-ins font that I like and just click type, or just type, type here to remind me 
I can go in and that's where I'm going to type. So maybe you want to add your homework on your no newsletter. Maybe you want to tell parents what's going on every day of the week. Whatever that is, you now have a template you can use for the entire year in your classroom. Maybe you want to just use eight for the month. Maybe you have it monthly themed. Maybe if your classroom theme is sweet treats, the first month you have donuts, then maybe you'll change this up to be ice cream to be different sweets. You might add the birthdays for the week of your students here, whatever you really want to do. Now, the one thing I did forget to add that I think I'm going to scoot the notes up a little bit and do that is I want to put a date section here. I want to make sure I have a date there so that when I send it out, parents can stay organized and know what newsletter they're looking at. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that cute one here. And I'm just going to write date. And then this is where you would type the date for the week. Maybe it's back to school. Maybe we're in the first week of August. So you would do August 22nd through the 26th or whatever the week is for you. And you could just keep that there as a reminder for parents, which newsletter this is. Now, I think this looks really nice and really cute. You can even add some more sweet treat elements. Maybe like I said, you want ice cream for a sweet treat treats theme. Maybe you want to have a different theme, but going with this, I might add something like this little ice cream here, and you can pull it down and add it in the corner here. Or maybe you wanna get some cookies, whatever that is, and you can add even more clip art around. I kind of like just this clean look, maybe just these two clip art is enough for me. But that is how you can make some quick newsletters for your classroom using Canva. If you have some questions, please send them into the comment section below. But I hope that you have found this useful and make sure to follow along for more.